Hi, John here from FlyAtMikeAlpha.com. Today we're going to be taking you from the Venice Airport to the Punta Gorda Airport, Class Delta Airport. We're going to walk you through all the radio communications and the sectional usage, everything you need to know to get from here to Venice, all the way over to Punta Gorda, talking to the tower, ground control, and into the ramp. Let's get to it. Because there's a big jet behind us who wants to go. Look, left, right, center, all clear. Venice traffic, Cherokee's here, some whiskey, departing runway 31, eastbound. Venice traffic, Cherokee is clearing 31, taxi and terminal. Get lined up with the runway here. Just put that center line right in the middle of us, look all the way down the runway, slowly ease in full power. Go ahead and take flight controls with me. Just nice light grip. Fly full power here, check all our engine instruments as power comes up. Gauges are in the green, airspeed's alive, we're looking for 65 miles per hour to rotate. And there's 65, we'll pull back slightly, we're up, and we're looking for 85 on climb out. And we'll just push forward a little bit to get to that 85 miles an hour. And keeping our wings level. Vertical lift. We'll go up to 500 feet before making our first turn. And so out here, we're about uh, 12 miles from the airport. It's a good time to start getting the ATIS. We'll go ahead and listen to it. Zulu time, 2153 Zulu weather. We'll get our pen and paper out and go ahead and write down what our weather information is. 13, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 28, dew point 16, altimeter 2991. Visual approaches, runway 33 in use. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Zulu. So we got information Zulu, we got all our information written down. Uh, we know what the winds are, the altimeter setting, we've got all our instruments set, we've completed our approach checklist. And at this point, we're about 10 miles out, we're ready to go ahead and call up the tower. We'll let them know that Punta Gorda Tower, Cherokee 99907 Whiskey, is 10 miles to the northwest, landing with Zulu. So, who we're calling, who we are, where we are, what we want to do. Punta Gorda Tower, Cherokee 99907 Whiskey, 10 northwest, landing with Zulu. Cherokee Niner Niner Zero Seven Whiskey Punta Gorda Tower report three miles northwest for a left base. Make that a left downwind runway three three. Report three northwest for a left downwind three three Niner Niner Zero Seven Whiskey. All right, so we'll report three miles from the field, three miles to the northwest. So we'll just fly this heading, report three miles out, and we'll gauge three miles as best as we can. The best metric you'll have is using those runways. So if you have a runway that's 5,000 feet long, just kind of count, you know, one runway, two runway, three, four, and, and there you are. There you're three miles out from the field. And so we'll report to him when we're three miles out. That'll jog his memory to remind him to clear us to land on runway 33. And he said he wanted us on a left downwind for 33, so that'll just be this little entry here, left downwind 33. We'll make two more left turns, and we'll be on a left base, and then a final, and landing on runway 33. So we can see the airport just ahead, just slightly to our left. We'll fly in to a left downwind, runway 33. We can go ahead and we'll reduce our power just slightly here, start a nice shallow descent. Make sure we don't shock cool the engine, just a nice small decrease in power for a few hundred foot per minute descent. And we're getting about to be five, six miles from the airport now, and we'll go ahead and report a few miles here that we're three miles northwest for the left downwind 33. And bank the wings just slightly more. Give me about a, a 100 heading there. And ultimately, what it is is just a quick glance there. You can see, okay, I still need to go a little to the left. You look outside for a few seconds, a quick glance back inside. Okay, I'm at 100 and I'm going to level this. And then you go back to focusing outside. So it's 90%, 95% of the time outside, and just a small percentage of the time inside. And while we're doing this here, well, let's go ahead and ask for a test light gun signal uh, from Punta Gorda Tower. That'll be a great opportunity for us to see what it looks like if we ever had a radio failure and they had to give us a light gun signal to clear us to land, what it would look like. Punta Gorda Tower, Cherokee 9 or 9 or 0 7 Whiskey. Cherokee 0 7 Whiskey, go ahead, sir. Uh, if able, could you give us a uh, light gun signal just for demonstration purposes? All right, I'll do it. And so we'll look straight to the tower there, right out ahead, and we should see a solid green light. It's pretty dim in the daylight. The sun's hitting the tower cab direct on, and he may not give it to us just yet. He may wait until we're actually on downwind or uh, on final to actually shoot the lightning signal at us. 
will reduce power even more and start a nice general descent. And Cherokee 9090 with some whiskey is three miles northwest, left down with 3-3. Cherokee 07 Whiskey, Roger. Are you a full stop or a touch and go? 07 Whiskey, we're a full stop into the FBO. Cherokee 07 Whiskey, Roger. Cleared to touch and go. I'm sorry. Cleared to land. Runway 33 to wind 280 at 15. And uh, we're going to give you gun, gun signal here right now. 07 Whiskey, sounds great. So we'll look out at the tower there. We're looking into the sun, so we're having trouble seeing you out the window, but I got you on the radar. 07 Whiskey, Roger. If uh, you can, we'll just uh, look for that light gun signal on uh, short final. Okay, that might be easier. Sounds great. Cool, so he's gonna give us a test light gun signal. It should be a solid green. We'll see it on short final. We're on a left downwind right now, kind of angled in a little bit. We should be a thousand feet on our downwind leg, but we're coming a little higher. We're at a towered airport. We don't have to be at a thousand feet like we do at a non-towered airport. We want to see all the other airplanes. Roger, continue, and I'll have clear. So we'll go ahead and roll out slightly to be a little bit more square here, a little bit more square rectangle, slightly to the right. You can stay on the controls only all the way through landing. Yes, sir. We'll go ahead and set landing power here. PPFF. Power, pitch, flaps, fuel pump. So we reduced our power to 1700. Pitch is going to 80 miles per hour. We're pitching for 80. So raising our nose just slightly to bleed off some airspeed there. Then flaps going down to 10. Flaps at 10. And fuel pumps going on. Landing lights on. Our pre landing checklist is complete. And we'll look over our left shoulder there. We look in a good spot to go ahead and turn our left base here. Towered Airport, we don't have to report our base. We're just, we're already cleared to land on runway 33. And Cherokee 07 Whiskey, we're shooting you like gun now. 07 Whiskey, we got you. Thank you. Okay, roger that. So we got our green light gun signal from the tower. We are cleared to land. We'll go ahead and turn onto our final leg here. We put in 25 flaps on base, and we overshot our final just slightly. We're going to go ahead and make a nice coordinated turn back towards final. We'll get reestablished. No drastic movements here as we come in on final closer to the ground. We can see we got two white and two red lights. So we're right on glide slope. We'll use our power for altitude control and pitch for air speed. So we'll go ahead and raise our nose here a little bit. Go ahead and slow down a hair. And use a little nose up trim there to help us with our airspeed. We want to fly a nice stable approach. Last half mile is nice and stable. If we were closer and we made that turn way at overshot, we would simply just add full power and go around. No need to try to force an approach to happen if you're too close into the runway. And so we can see we're crab slightly left for a left crosswind. Right before we touch down here, or basically about uh, probably 200 yards before the runway even starts, we're going to go ahead and push in some right rudder, a little bit of left wing down. We're going to land on our left wheel first. So right rudder, left wing down. We'll expect that left wheel touch first, then the right wheel, and then finally the nose wheel. About five feet here, we'll go ahead and pull power back to idle and just hold the airplane off till we bleed off airspeed to land. There's our left wheel, there's our right wheel, and there's our nose wheel. Rolling our controls all the way over to the left to finish out our landing. Cessna 09 or 7, you're number two to the airport to follow another Cessna 152 on a uh, left downwind for three. We'll go ahead and pop our door here, get a little bit of air. Is it being approach end numbers now on left downwind? We'll just using our rudders to maintain directional control, yep. keeping those ailerons rolled all the way over to the left. And clear the, air the uh, runway as soon as practical. So we're going to clear the runway as soon as practical. Looks like Charlie's a good. Uh, over to ground, 119.5, zero some whiskey. Little left turn on Charlie, and contact ground on 119.55. That's a zero nine or seven. Your traffic's on left base now, and advise when you have been. We'll go ahead and get our uh, tail clear across this whole shoreline and, uh, here, and then uh, complete our after landing checklist. After we complete our after landing checklist, we'll go ahead and contact ground control. Control the tower. Uh, turning final for runway three three. That's a one zero zero nine or seven. Around 1955. That's a 09 or 7. You're clear. All right, time to go ahead and call a Punta Gorda ground. We're going to go ahead and tell them who we're calling, who we are, where we are, and what we want to do. Punta Gorda ground, Cherokee 9907 Whiskey. Clear runway 33 at Charlie, taxi FBO. Cherokee 9907 Whiskey, FBO, taxi via Delta. Taxi FBO via Delta, 9907 Whiskey. We'll go ahead and release the parking brake here. 
around and we can go ahead and taxi in via Delta. We see that we're on Charlie right now and we're going to taxi via Delta. So it'll be a left turn on Delta to the FBO. If we were ever unsure, we could simply say, request progressive taxi instructions and they would tell you, all right, you're coming up on Charlie to Delta. Go ahead and make your left now. The FBO is the green building and go ahead and start to turn right into the FBO ramp now, just after that big jet or something like that. They'll give you very specific instructions and watch you as you taxi around the airport to make sure you don't make any mistakes, which is a great, um, great help, especially if you're a single pilot or a solo student pilot at a new airport. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our latest videos. Remember, fly every day, and if you can't, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. See you all next time.